before I start, I want to give all honors and glories and praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Waha, Waha Kodash, Yahweh, which is the one true name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, but his one only true name is Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone who rule well and teach well because those are the men who I've learned this truth from through the spirit and power of Yehovah Shema Shai. Peace, blessings, salutations to the hopeful elect and shalom to you sincere brothers scattered abroad pushing forth this word in truth and sincerity. I am the brother Mashiach Ira Zakah of the servants of Yahweh Wah, Yahweh Shai Camp, Las Vegas, Nevada. And pretty much in this lesson, it's going to be titled as Trust in the Lord. Trust in the Lord. You as a Hebrew Israelite, a so-called Negro, Hispanic name, American Indian, you shouldn't try to take matters into your own hands without putting your trust in the Lord. All right, we have the Lord with us but you have to be fully persuaded in your mind to know that the Lord will be there for you you know this goes with faith and this is one thing that we pray about every every day every single day man you know I'm speaking to myself first and foremost you know we are to trust in our power you know rely on our power trust in Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai because he's the one that's going to get you through in this lifetime, you know, you as being an Israelite. So, um, I just got some precepts up here. The Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. Romans 14, 5, it says, One man esteemeth one day above another. It says, Another esteemeth every day alike. It says, Let every man, see, you as an Israelite man, a so-called Negro Hispanic Native American Indian. It says, let every man be fully persuaded in his own mind. So for you to be able to trust in the Lord, that's what faith within itself. You know, that's because you're fully persuaded in this truth. You're fully persuaded in the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Shai. You are fully persuaded in your own mind of the Lord. You fully trust in the Lord. You know, we apply these scriptures and we believe in Yahweh Bashima Shai. It's not in our head as what ifs or not sure. We know that the Lord is going to be there. We, you know, we, we're confident and know that the Lord is going to be there for us. He's going to get us through. We are fully persuaded in our own mind. And that's where it starts from when you trust in the Lord. Is you by being fully persuaded in your own mind. Otherwise than that, you're going to have the spirit of doubt. And you don't want that. I'm speaking for myself first and foremost. You don't want to have the spirit of doubt. You want to fully, you know, be persuaded. And to have the faith. And to trust in the Lord. Let's see what Yahweh said in John 7 and 38. This is John 7 and 38. He that believeth on me. See. We put our trust in Yahweh Bashim Shai. We put our trust in Yahweh Shai. How do we do that? We trust in His Word. We trust in this truth. Right? We trust in the Lord. It says, He that believeth on me, as the Scripture have said. See? So we fully are persuaded in our own minds and we trust in the Word of our power, Yahweh Bashim Shai. It says, As the Scripture have said, out of His belly, right? The belly, meaning the mind, shall flow rivers of living water. And the living water is the scriptures, is this truth. All right, so we are fully, it starts back with fully being persuaded in our own mind because we trust in the Lord. We have full trust in our power. There is no ifs or wonderings. We know. That's how it goes. There is no ifs or if we wondering. If the Lord or if the Lord is believing in, if the Lord is doing this. No, we know. It's the thing. That's the thing. We know. 
we're fully persuaded in our mind. It says, He that believeth on me, see, we believe in we believeth and trust in Yahweh Shimashai. As the scriptures have said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. See, the belly is the mind, and the living water is the scriptures. So we believe, we trust in the Lord. Okay. Proverbs 3 and 5. And this is the um, error that a lot of Israelites make in this truth. They do this right here. Proverbs 3 and 5. The Lord said not to do this when you read verse 5. All right. And this is what a lot of Jakes do in verse 5. Proverbs 3 and 5. Right. The scripture tells us to do what? Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, meaning the mind. We have to trust in the Lord. And this is what we are to do. But this is the part where I mean that a lot of Jakes do. Right here. And lean not into thine own understanding. A lot of Jakes, they lean into their own understanding. They don't trust in the Lord. They try to take matters into their own hands. They try to handle things on their own. Not trusting in the Lord. You know, just to give a fair example of quote, like Elder Mananta Zagba said, you don't want to make rashful decisions, you know, and making your own decisions, you know. Lean into your own understanding, making your own choices of things. Because the situation that you're in could be tough, but you could make it a whole lot worse making a rational decision. It could put it in a worse situation. You don't want that. So that's why the scriptures say, Proverbs 3 and 5, trust in the Lord with all thine heart. That word heart is a Hebrew word, which means love, which means mind. So we are to trust in Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, with all our mind, right? Must be fully persuaded in your own mind, right? And lean not into thine own understanding. Don't lean into your own understanding. Don't try to do things into your own hands because it can put you in a worse situation. You know, a worse situation. Verse 6, in all thy ways, see, in all thy ways, in all your ways, right, acknowledge him. So we got to trust in the Lord. We got to let the Lord handle our situations, right? We got to let the Lord handle that. It says, Lean, it says, lean not unto thine own understanding. Verse 6, in all thy ways acknowledge him. See, we are to trust, put things in the Lord's hands. It says, and he shall direct thy paths. The Lord shall direct your paths because what? The Lord is the one that is director of the whole show. Men's goings are of the Lord, right? Men's goings are of the Lord. The Lord downloaded the things that we do within us. So the choices that we make is not of our own will, but the Lord is the one that established that. And I got a precept for backing me up with what I'm saying when I go to First Peter, and I think it's uh, 5 and 17. If not, it's 5 and 6, but I go to 5 and 17. Yeah, here it is. First Peter 5 and 7. It's 5 and 7. So Salaki, I always get confused with that. First Peter 5 and 7. It says, casting all your care upon him, for he care for you. See, casting all your care upon him. All the things that you're dealing with, you give it to the Lord, Yahweh Bashimashai. It starts with faith and trusting in Yahweh Bashimashai. That's how it starts. Casting all your care upon him, for he care for you. See, he care for you. He care for you. You see that? The Lord cares for you. So you want to put your trust in the Lord. You want to put your trust in the Lord. Put all your cares upon the Lord. And I want to get the, um, it's lucky on that. I want the NLT version. Because it even makes it even better from there. This is the NLT version. Let's look at the NLT version. It says, give all your worries and cares to Yahweh. Bashim Yashai, for he cares about you. See, so you give all your worries to the Lord. You trust in the Lord, right? We trust in the Lord. And that's what it's all about, trusting in Yahweh Bashim Yashai, man. This is uh, Psalms 34 and 8, and we're going to use this as an example. The poor man cried out unto the Lord. Because he believed in the Lord. He trusted in the Lord. His confidence was fully trusting in the Lord. He was confident in that. And this is what the Lord did for him. The poor man. Psalms 34 and 6. It says, this poor man cried. See, this was an Israelite man. And the Lord heard him. 
See, he put his trust in the Lord, right? And the Lord heard him and saved him out of all his troubles. And that starts with believing and trusting in the Lord, having a faith, right? And it says, the angel of the Lord encampeth round about them. See, the angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear him. You see that? And deliver and delivereth them. See, so the Lord, he will guide you. He will protect you. He will be there with you, for you. But it starts with what? Faith. You have to have faith. You have to fully be persuading your mind to know and to trust in the Lord, to have confidence in the Lord, to know that he will do it for you. Verse 8. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Right? Because, I mean, so like it. It says, do it again, so like it. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusteth in him. You see? Blessed is the man that trusteth in him, in the Lord. Why? Because the Lord is going to be there for you. The Lord is going to guide you. He's going to protect you. He's going to be your shield, your buckler. You're going to be blessed because you're fully uh, persuaded in your mind, right? You have the faith. You're confident in the Lord. You believe in his word, this truth. Now, I got, um, I'm going to read this, and then I got the um, <clears throat> NLT version of it for more edification for those of you that don't understand this. Psalms 91 and 1, it says, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Verse 2, I will say, I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my power in Him will I trust. Right? Verse 3, Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noise and from the noisome pestilences. Verse 4, he shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shall thy trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Now, I'm going to read the NLT because it, it, makes, it makes it more clear when you read it. This is Psalms 91 and 1. It says, those who live in the shelter of the Most High, Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, will find rest in the shadow of the Almighty. Verse 2, it says, This I declare about the Lord. He alone is my refuge, my place of safety. This is why we put our trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. He's our guider, our buckler, our shield, our protection, right? He is my power, and I trust Him. For He will rescue you from every trap and protect you from deadly disease. It says, he will shelter you with his wings. His faithful promises are your armor and protection. So this is why you want to trust in the Lord. This is why we put our trust in the Lord. Because the Lord, he's the one that is our power. He is our protection. He is our guide, man. Isaiah 26 and 3. It says, thou shalt keep him in peace perfect peace whose mind going back to every man being fully persuaded in his own mind right whose mind is stayed on thee because he trusts in thee trust ye in the lord forever for in the lord yahweh is everlasting strength and this is why we trust in the lord this is why we're confident in the lord because the lord is our protection he's our buckler our shield he's our strength all right he's everything that we need to make it in this in this flesh without trusting in the lord we will be in a, in a bad state a bad condition a bad situation so this is why us being in the truth you know starting from the elders and the apostles of great millstone we are fully persuaded in our own mind we we don't have no ifs if i wonder if the lord is dealing with me i wonder uh, uh wonder if he is or wonder this wonder that no i know the lord is dealing with me i know the lord is going to do this for me i know the lord is going to protect me i know that the lord is going to keep me protected in these times you're going to have to have the faith and you you're going to have to be fully persuaded in your own mind because if not it can have you put in a bad situation you can fall out of the truth you can become bugged out especially in the time of jacob trouble you can wind up losing the faith and giving in to the system you know, just giving a lot of examples because the times that we headed into, times are going to get harder. 
things is going to get more challenging and more difficult. But if you trust in the Lord and you fully praise in the Lord and fully being committed to the Lord, trusting in the Lord, being fully persuaded in your mind, right? Pray, pray without ceasing, right? The scriptures say pray without ceasing, right? So you want to continually praise the Lord, pray, ask the Lord for strength in the spirit, man, you know? So, hey, I just want to do a quick hit on this. Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. I want to give all honors and glories and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Yahweh Kakodash. And Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. Tonight's time I say, Shalom.